The way to attract new fans to the sport of baseball is by adding more offense to each game. In 2023, that is exactly what Major League Baseball attempted to do. They introduced the new pitch clock, which dramatically shortened the game. By shortening it, it gives you the same thing, but more action in a shortened period of time. 2023 was actually the shortest that baseball has been in the 2000s. By adding a pitch clock, they assumed that offensive production would increase. This was all, of course, in an attempt to get the casual fan to sit down and watch some baseball. Which, honestly, I will say, I do think that it worked. You know, people have jobs, they don't have all the time in the world to just go and sit down and watch for three hours every day like others do. So that part it made sense for, but how has the game actually been impacted? First of all, pitching did not benefit from the pitch clock really at all. This was of course designed for more offense, but here's the thing. Pitchers need time in this era, and let me explain. Velocity, of course, is at an all-time high right now. We have never seen pitchers throw harder than they are right now, and because of how hard that they throw, they need those extra few seconds between each pitch. Not having those extra few seconds has just been a killer. Future Hall of Fame pitcher Max Scherzer recently expressed his opinion on the pitch clock, saying that the pitch clock has actually been the reason why injuries have gone up this year. But what's really interesting is the fact that pitcher injuries actually dropped this year statistically. But here's what's even more interesting. Regardless of injuries dropping, the number of days that players were injured increased by a number of 6.1%. So they're injured for more days, but there are also less injuries reported. This proves a few different things I would say, and one of the main things being that Tommy John and surgeries are a lot more common. When surgeries are up and players are missing more time, this just results in worse baseball being played. Now, you would think that in a league like the MLB that they would take action of some sort or take some sort of accountability or something. These are their players out there getting injured, and keep in mind, of course, that these are people too. And surgery doesn't just impact them on the baseball field, it also impacts them in their everyday lives. So, Major League Baseball has definitely done something about this, right, you'd think? Well, no. Actually, they've yet to do anything. They've yet to address the injury problem that they're facing, and instead, they're even thinking about reducing the pitch clock. What this would do is that it would give pitchers even less time on the mound. The rule would be, instead of having 20 seconds when a runner's on, you only get 18 seconds when a runner's on. And... It might be only two seconds, but the truth is, every single second counts. To go along with this, they want to reduce the amount of mound visits in a game from 5 to 4. Major League Baseball absolutely loves what is happening right now in the sport, but fans do not. And here's a little bit of something for you, Manfred. Without the players, you wouldn't have fans to begin with. It's time that this sport actually listens to their players and even the fans because there's a good bit of fans who are not happy about this. Most of fans are not happy. The pitch clock is one of the most interesting topics right now and really all of baseball because it has transformed this game in about every single which way. The reason that they implemented the pitch clock to begin with is because games were getting longer. The reason that they were getting longer is because the pitchers took longer to get ready. But again, they weren't doing it for no reason. They had a logical reason. And that reason would be that velocity has gone up significantly over the last 20 years. The harder you throw, the more tired your arm gets and the more rest that it needs. Not having the time that they need to go ahead and recover has just been a killer. And it needs to change really, really soon. Because very soon here, we're going to start to see injuries like we have never seen before. It's only been one year of the pitch clock, so maybe we might all just be overreacting and maybe the pitch clock will be a good thing for baseball in the long run. One of the top examples of a pitcher who was ruined by the pitch clock was Alec Manoa. Manoa pitched a 322 ERA in 2021 and in 2022 he had a 224. He was one of the best pitchers in the league and was supposed to be really, really good in 2023. What happened instead is the Blue Jays sent him down to the Florida Complex League because he had a 587 ERA in the big leagues. He failed very, very bad, and of course, Manoa has always been known as a guy who's out of shape, and he gets tired really, really easy. Having the freedom of having as much time as you need out there was huge, but of course, the pitch clock being implemented ended up killing him, and it meant a lot of bad outings out of Alec Manoa. Not to mention, ERA numbers across baseball were not nearly as good as 2022. The best ERA in baseball in 2023 was Blake Snell. Snell had a 2.25 ERA, but in 2022, we saw four pitchers with a better ERA than Blake Snell's. 
Last season, of course, the second best pitcher was Garrett Cole with a 263. In 2022, there were 10 players in total with a better ERA than Garrett Cole. And this proves the theory that pitchers are absolutely not benefiting from the pitch clock. Now, I will say, of course, from the beginning, they were never supposed to be benefiting, but they are being killed right now, and no one is paying attention to this. Now, I will say, of course, banning the shift is going to be a killer for several different pitchers, but based on how the injury numbers have been, and considering the ERA difference from last year and this year, we have a problem in this sport, and that problem is pitching. Pitching is a dying art right now, and the way to fix it is not by terminating the pitch clock, but the way to fix it is by extending the time given for pitchers across the league. You see, the rule that I told you guys about earlier where they want to go ahead and save that extra two seconds between each pitch, well, their plan behind that is so that they could save five minutes. Are you kidding me? Who in the world goes to a baseball game? Oh yeah, it's great that we don't have that extra five minutes anymore because Major League Baseball cares about us so much, they went ahead and they shaved off five minutes for no reason. Okay, that is just absolutely ridiculous, especially whenever you have players who are calling this out and they're like, no, we don't want it to happen. We want a little bit more time. You know, they were able to adjust and they really didn't complain last year. But at the same time, give them time. It's that simple. And here's what's really interesting. I really, really liked the pitch clock last year. At first, was not a big fan of it at all. And I think that's how it was for a lot of people. A lot of people were not very open-minded to this idea. But whenever it actually got introduced and you started to watch games, the game felt a lot better. It really, really did. But there is one big thing. I think fans across baseball wanted one thing this offseason. They wanted more time for the pitch clock, right? So what this means is that pitchers can have more time. Instead, they said, okay, we'll give you two less seconds. That's the thing. It just really doesn't feel like they're always listening to the fans first. And that's just why no one really likes Rob Manfred. I mean, we ask for a few more seconds, not a few less seconds. But I guess you could just go ahead and take what you're getting out of them. It is what it is. There is one major question that I really do wonder and think is going to be happening, and that is what will happen nationwide for baseball, because obviously Major League Baseball has probably the biggest impact on this sport more than anything else. So you just got to kind of wonder, with these rule changes, could we start to see rule changes in college baseball and high school baseball for a pitch clock, and maybe not even just a pitch clock, maybe you start to see them change the way that they play the game. Of course, there's no more shift. Maybe you start to see pitchers not pitch for contact. I mean, contact pitchers, I think, are a dying thing right now with no more shift to benefit them. It's kind of just dead, right? You need the swing and miss stuff. But as of right now, it just really feels like Rob Manfred sitting there saying, all right, yeah, you're going to like this. Whether you want to or not, you're going to have to watch this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and peace out.